Moses sends out the spies. You may have been wondering where the Lord was leading all these hundreds of Israelites. Well, it was to the land of Canaan. In the story today, they have arrived at the very border of this land that God had promised them hundreds of years before. The Lord told Moses to send 12 spies to explore the land to see whether it was fertile with plenty of fruit and vegetables and crops. Also to find out what the people were like and if they lived in villages or cities with walls. The Lord knew it was a very good land indeed and he wanted the Israelites to know it. It would also be a test for them to see if they would trust him. The spies sneaked into the land and were gone 40 days, having a good look round. Moses had told them to bring some of the fruit of the land back with them. This they did, carrying a huge bunch of grapes. They reported that the land was rich in food and water. But 10 of the spies told how the land was full of strong, tough men. They were sure that they didn't stand a chance of taking the land off them, even though God had promised to keep them safe. There were two spies, however, who told the people that the land was brilliant and not to worry about the people being so big because God was with them and they would win all the battles against the people of the land. But the Israelites didn't listen to them. They were scared because of the other ten spies. They grumbled bitterly and complained. They said, It would have been better to have died in Egypt or even in the desert rather for us and our wives and children to get killed by these Canaanites. Let's choose another leader to take us back to Egypt. This enraged Moses and the Lord was so angry he threatened to kill them. When would these people ever learn to trust him? Hadn't he saved them time and time again, even performing amazing miracles for them? Moses prayed that the Lord would forgive them. And because God is merciful, he agreed to spare them. We know that God is so very good. We only have to look at the cross to see the enormous price he is willing to pay in order to forgive us. But we must remember that there is another side to God which is still very good. He is also the judge. He had shown mercy to these people many times, but now he was going to punish them. He promised Moses that all the people who had not trusted him would never enter the wonderful land he had planned to give them. They were to turn back and wander around the desert instead. In fact, they went round in circles for 40 years until every one of them had died. The only two who were left of them were the two spies who had trusted God and who had desperately tried to persuade the people to go into the land. So we can see that God would put up with us, not trusting him, for quite a while. But there comes a time when God will have had enough of our sin and will judge and punish us. We are told that one day we will all stand before God and he will either be our judge or our saviour. The choice is ours. We had better not leave it any longer because for all we know, God may be running out of patience with us.